Cock and Ball Torture from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Cock and Ball Torture, CBT, Penis torture, or dick torture, is a sexual activity involving application of pain or constriction to the penis or testicles. This may involve directly painful activities such as genital piercing, wax play, genital spanking, squeezing, ball busting, genital flogging, urethral play, tickle torture, erotic electrostimulation, kneeing, or kicking. The recipient of such activities may receive direct physical pleasure via masochism or emotional pleasure through erotic humiliation or knowledge that the play is pleasing to a sadistic dominant. Many of these practices carry significant health risks. CBT in Japan Tamakari, literally ball kicking, is a sexual fetish and subgenre of BDSM within which a man's testicles are abused. The genre is also referred to as ball busting, BB for short. Tamakari is the Japanese term, but is used by many non-Japanese people to describe media where Asian people, mainly women, are participating in it. The dynamics of Tamakari consist of a masochist having their testicles hurt by a sadist. The fetish is popular among heterosexual and homosexual men and women. In hentai communities, it is often identified by either tamakari or crotch underscore kick. Denkiyanma, literally electric massage, is a popular Japanese prank played between two people where one person puts their foot into the genital area of the other and shakes it in a vibrating motion. Often, this is done by grabbing the other person's feet, raising them, and then placing one's own foot on their crotch and vibrating them. This is often done between school-aged boys as a prank similar to Kancho and could be seen by a Western audience as a type of bullying. In 2007, the crisps company Doritos released a new flavor of potato chip called Denkiyanma. Devices Similar to many other sexual activities, CBT can be performed using toys and devices to make the penis and testicles more easily accessible for attack or for foreplay purposes. Ball Stretcher a ball stretcher is a sex toy that is used to elongate the scrotum and provide a feeling of weight pulling the testicles away from the body. This can be particularly enjoyable for the wearer as it can make an orgasm more intense as testicles are prevented from moving up. Intended to make one's testicles permanently hang much lower than before, if used regularly for extended periods of time, this sex toy can be potentially harmful to the male genitals as the circulation of blood can be easily cut off if over-tightened. While leather stretchers are most common, other models consist of an assortment of steel rings that fastens with screws causing additional but only mildly uncomfortable weight to the wearer's testicles. The length of the stretcher may vary from 1 to 4 inches. A more dangerous type of ball stretcher can be homemade simply by wrapping rope or string around one's scrotum until it is eventually stretched to the desired length. Ball Crusher A ball crusher is a device made from either metal or often clear acrylic that squeezes the testicles slowly by turning a nut or screw. How tight it is clamped depends on the pain tolerance of the person it is used on. A ball crusher is often combined with bondage, either with a partner or by oneself. Parachute A parachute is a small collar, usually made from leather, which fastens around the scrotum and from which weights can be hung. It is conical in shape, with three to four short chains hanging underneath to which weights can be attached. Used as part of cock and ball torture within a BDSM relationship, the parachute provides a constant drag and a squeezing effect on the testicles. Moderate weights of 3 to 5 kilograms can be suspended, especially during bondage, though occasionally much heavier weights are used. Smaller weights can be used when the male wearing it is free to move. The swinging effect of the weight can restrict sudden movements, as well as providing a visual stimulus for the dominant partner. Humbler a humbler is a BDSM physical restraint device used to restrict the movement of a submissive male participant in a BDSM scene. The humbler consists of a testicle cuff device that clamps around the base of the scrotum, mounted in the center of a bar that passes behind the thighs at the base of the buttocks. 
This forces the wearer to keep his legs folded forward as any attempt to straighten the legs even slightly pulls hard on the scrotum, causing from considerable discomfort to extreme pain. Testicle Cuffs A testicle cuff is a ring-shaped device that around the scrotum between the body and the testicles which when closed does not allow the testicles to slide through it. A common type has two connected cuffs, one around the scrotum and the other around the base of the penis. They are one of just many devices to restrain the male genitalia. A standard padlock may also be locked around the scrotum. Without the key, it cannot be removed. Some passive men enjoy the feeling of being owned, while dominant individuals enjoy the sense of owning their partners. Requiring such a man wear testicle cuffs symbolizes that his sexual organs belong to his partner, who may be either male or female. There is a level of humiliation involved by which they find sexual arousal. The cuffs may even form part of a sexual fetish of the wearer or his partner. However, these are extreme uses of testicle cuffs. More conventionally, the device pulls down on the testicles and keeps them there during stimulation, which has a number of benefits. Making the penis appear longer. Making the penis appear longer. Pulling the testicles down and away from the base of the penis stretches the skin over the base of the penis and the pubic bone, exposing the additional inch or so of penile shaft that is normally hidden from view. Improving Sexual Arousal While some men may be aroused by the feeling of being owned, the physical feeling of stretching the ligaments that suspend the testicles has an effect similar to the more common practice of stretching one's legs and pointing the toes. Preventing the testicles from lifting up so far that they become lodged under the skin immediately adjacent to the base of the penis, a condition which can be very uncomfortable, especially if the testicle is then squashed by the slap of skin during thrusting in sexual intercourse. Delaying or intensifying ejaculation by preventing the testicles from rising normally to the point of no return it is much harder to reach an orgasm. Cock Harness a cock harness is a penile sex toy designed to be worn around the penis and scrotum. Its function is similar to that of a cock ring. These devices are often associated with BDSM activities. The Gates of Hell is a male chastity device made up of multiple cock rings that can be used for CBT. Callie's Teeth is a metal bracelet with interior spikes that closes around the penis and can be used for preventing or punishing erections. Safety Loss of blood flow is one of the biggest risks in cock and ball torture CBT, which can be seen with loss of color and edemas. Bondage in which the testicles are tied to something else is especially dangerous, increasing the risk of the testicles getting damaged through excessive tension or pulling. The most serious injuries are testicular rupture, testicular torsion, and testicular avulsion, which are medical emergencies that require urgent medical attention. Urethral fingering is an example of CBT which needs special precautions such as not having a sharp nail on the finger inserted inside the penis. A gagged man's penis and scrotum are pulled using a rope at Folsom Street Fair. It is especially important to have a signal as a safe word during such activities. A dominatrix bites a gagged man's penis while pulling and squeezing his balls by her hand at Folsom Street Fair. It is important to remember the man's limits during such acts. See also Breast torture Chastity piercing Chastity cage Circumcision Groin attack Penile injury Pussy torture Urethral sounding